Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, my amendment increases strategic long-term investments in research at the National Institutes of Health and the National Science Foundation, and I urge my colleagues to support it. To maintain America's role as a global leader in innovation and groundbreaking discoveries, it's essential that we avoid short-sighted cuts to these critical agencies. Like the cuts included in President Trump's draconian budget, which recklessly slashes funding for research that we know saves lives and creates jobs. Unfortunately, the House Republican budget also neglects investments in basic research through NIH, NSF, and other important agencies. Even though we know these investments help us push the boundaries of scientific knowledge, advance promising research, and offer hope to millions of Americans. Funding for the life-saving work at NIH is also a key economic driver, supporting more than 400,000 jobs and generating over $60 billion in economic activity. It delivers an enormous return on investment today and for generations to come. For all of these reasons, Congress has collectively dedicated $4 billion in additional resources for NIH-funded research in recent years. Now is not the time to undermine our momentum, particularly as scientists pursue cutting-edge innovations in precision medicine and immunotherapy. We should not be taking steps that could hinder medical research across the country. That's why I, along with more than 100 of my colleagues, have called for NIH to receive no less than $36 billion in the next fiscal year. Funding for the National Science Foundation is also extremely important. It supports critical research to defend our nation's cybersecurity, foster innovation, and develop a globally competitive workforce. The work done at NSF is a key driver of the U.S. economy and enhances our nation's security. That's why we should be forward-looking rather than always being reactive and dedicate at least $8 billion to NSF next year. I urge my colleagues to support this amendment 